Garrett Park, Maryland was where Tom lived and it was an old neighborhood and no one had moved in. I moved in and then Hope moved in on the same street actually. We were kind of the talk of the town because there were two new girls in Garrett Park. Hope was actually Tom's first girlfriend, but she got grounded one night when our teen club went on a roller skating trip. She stayed home, I went, Tom went, and the rest of the teen club. And although we had been friends for so long, I knew that there was something there, and this is the person that I wanted to be with the rest of my life. Well, it was the Reekers and then the Hangmen. The girls would scream and yell, and they had a big fan club. Back then, in the Washington Post, every weekend they would show a list of the songs that were on Billboard magazine or something, and What a Girl Can't Do was right up there with the Beatles. Now, The Girl Who Faded Away, which was on the other side, has been on YouTube and there have been like over 200,000 views of it. And Tom would just be blown away if, if he, he could see this and maybe he can. Can't you just see it? No, but I'm sure you can. Oh yeah, I can see it, totally. Joe Triplett, he has just this unbelievable voice. They were trying to kind of imitate the zombies. They would call each other and talk with this British accent. But you'll never know the way that I feel. Uh -huh. He always had a guitar in his hand. He couldn't seem to help himself. It just, it was an extension of his body. It was amazing. And when he started having the symptoms with the ALS, that was the first thing he noticed. He kept saying, you know, my fingers aren't doing what my brain's telling them to do. Once that started happening, it, it was just miserable for him that he couldn't play the guitar. 